got a couple of more pieces I'd love to play for you, and then we're going to call Owen and Molly out. This has been an absolute blast to reconnect with them. I first met them when they were about eight or ten years old. <laughs> Their mother was performing with us at the great cathedral in New York, St. John the Divine, and there was little Owen and Molly running around the cathedral, <laughs> checking out the acoustics in an unholy way. <laughs> what a joy, the magnificent musicians with a, with a repertoire that is so soul-stirring. It's, it's great to add some cello to that. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. Thank you, Randy. Terry Tempest Williams mentioned something called sacred rage. Have you heard that? Sacred rage. Can you feel into that? Yeah. It's hard to witness what's going on around us without feeling that. And you know, some people say that rage, anger, is a, actually a secondary emotion. It's actually considered by some to be a more socially acceptable form for the primary emotions, which could be sadness, fear, helplessness, even shame, other things like that. But for me, the sacred rage is something that was really born in me some years ago when I first heard about this oil spill in Alaska off of Valdez. That was the kind of rage that was born in me at that time that I wasn't able to find words for until that moment. And I've since come to contemplate that inside that Rage. That rage is, it has a bit of a storyteller inside of it. And that storyteller has some important information for us about what is activating us in that way. And I think if we follow it through, it also gives us the energy to do some of the very, very hard work of being calm, of listening, of addressing people who we don't commonly address listening in this way that ignites our love more broadly. Well, this is a piece that has been for me a very cathartic uh, outlet for some of my rage. And it's a piece that grew out of the earth. It comes from a melody that was harvested from the mountains of Transylvania by the great musicologist and composer Bela Bartok. And Bartok made some of the very earliest wax cylinder recordings of folk music in Eastern Europe and Hungary and Romania. And here's a little piece of sweet melody, actually, that he brought back to his studio in Budapest and made into a beautiful piece of music. But I love to improvise on this. It's a piece that I've come to call The Dances of Rasputin. Thank you. 